I want to do a stuffed French toast with a cereal crust. It's taking a diner dish and elevating it. I'm going to stuff it with this smoked brie cheese. It was so brilliant. Hey, Nadia, how's it going? I'm good, how are you? I got to say, Nadia, I'm a little worried. I see no coffee whitener around. I see no paper cups. <laughs> what do we have here? We have like a cheese that is... chamber here. <laughs> I, what is this? I use some applewood um, smoking chips. Oh, Did you smoke wow. inside of here? Great. I smoked the brie, and I thought that would really like elevate it. Oh, it just brought oh, me home. Oh, man, that is amazing. Yeah, that is fantastic. That's legal. <laughs> Looks delicious, and best of luck to you. Impressive. Thank you. I've never had great from basil before, but I think it'll work. Basil goes with most fruit. Hi, Becky. Hi. How are you? I'm good, thanks. How are good. you? Good. No, what are you making? A pie. A pie. <laughs> Could you settle down? The excitement is overwhelming. Pie. <laughs> what kind of a pie are you making? I'm going to make a grapefruit curd with grapefruit and basil jelly and a meringue. That's not your average diner pie. The baked pie in one hour? Do you think it may be a risk? Instead of a crust, I'm going to do a crumble instead. I baked a pie years ago, and it took less than an hour, Alvin. So show a little face. Yeah. <laughs> Go get them, sister. <laughs> Thank you. Becky, I want that pie to jump. Don't listen to a thing he just said. Just ignore it. <laughs> This cheesy goodness here. I want to get into that cheese sauce. Mm -hmm. I am making an elevated tuna melt today. Take that simple, humble tuna sandwich and make it sing with beautiful albacore tuna, with a wasabi pea crust, and smelt fries. I think of being home, my dad fries up smelts all the time, and I eat them like chips. So, fish fries. Oh. I live with my parents recently live with my parents again. I love to cook for my family, and I really just want to make the people back home proud. Hi, Eugene. Hi there. How are you? I'm great, thank you. I am making a chicken and waffles from the dirty old south. Oh my god, I love you. <laughs> thank you. My parents owned a diner growing up. Really? I spent a lot of time in the diner. How are you going to elevate the waffle? The waffle, I'm going to end it with a pat of uh, foie gras on top, just oh, like wow. butter that you can spread over top, and it's going to just be nice and uh, moist and buttery. Are you single? I am. <laughs> I wish she was one of the judges. <laughs> good luck. Thank, Thank you. you. Good luck. I'm going to make a beer-battered fish taco with a variety of pickles, a scotch bonnet sauce, a mustard aioli, french fries, and a garlic parmesan. I'm going to make my own tortilla. 15 minutes, you have 15 minutes left. Oh, jeez. When I realize all of the components that I want to pull off on this dish, I actually take a second and go, holy crap, I need to get my ass in gear. Michael G is moving fast. No more kidding around. Everyone's here to compete, and I want to compete harder. You ever have a duck egg mayo before? I don't know how I'm getting all of this done. The cast of Corner Gas Animated inspire the home cooks to elevate diner food to new heights. I can't just sling out a regular diner burger. I got to elevate it here, and I plan to do just that. That burger smells so good. Five minutes, only five more minutes. Come on, home cook. Time is not with me. I have nothing in the plate right now. But I can multitask like no one else in this kitchen, and that's going to give me that extra edge. I am most worried about my little egg package. You got one chance at this. If I mess this up, I won't have any eggs on my steak and egg dish. Flavors are gonna get me called up today. I'm looking at my dish and it's looking really, really good, but I know it needs one more element. I'm trying to get the meringue a golden brown color without burning it. 20 seconds, still orders up! I know the 
the flavors are there. You season perfectly. It is out of my comfort zone, but I hope I get my name called up. All right, great job, everybody. Whew. Brent Terra, Lauren Nancy, on behalf of everyone at MasterChef Canada, thank you so much for being here today. And congratulations on your new series, Corner Gas Animated. Thank you, thank you. This was a lot of fun, and I'd like to take a little bit of everything to go, if that's all right. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, everybody. Good luck, everybody. Thanks, guys. The judges must now decide which three of these diner food dishes are the most elevated and worthy of tasting. I want this advantage because I want to start now by winning all the way through the finale. The first dish that we'd like to call up looks deceptively simple, but we can't wait to discover the delights that are hidden inside. And the home cook who made it is... Nadia. I'm feeling really proud. I think that I've really embraced this challenge and I think it shows on my plate. I've made for you a elevated and stuffed French toast with a spicy berry and fig sauce and smoked applewood brie. Terrific, well let's have a little taste. Look at that. I can actually smell a little bit of that smokiness. It's making me salivate already. Thank you. To me, it's an interesting flavor of sweet meets savory. That sweetness is offset by the heat that I'm finding in the fruit puree. What is that heat coming from? So it's cayenne. I don't find it overpowering. I think that the sauce could have been just a little bit thinner, a little bit more plentiful but it ticks all the boxes as far as I'm concerned. A great French toast with a modern attitude and twist. Nicely done. Thank you. That's really good. <laughs> I love the way you incorporated the smoke. I typically would not expect to find that in French toast, but you added your own personality to it. I think that's really important in this kitchen. Thank you. Great job. I think I'm finally getting to a point where I'm really trusting my gut and doing things a little bit different. The next cook chose a dish often described as humble. And the home cook who made it is... Becky. It was really good to hear my name. I'm just hoping that they like it. I made grapefruit and basil pie with the Italian meringue and a crumble. This is no humble pie. The presentation is beautiful. An Italian meringue. Why not French meringue? Italian meringue goes like marshmallowy and has a different texture. I like that marshmallow and that beautiful candy grapefruit jelly. It balances out the tart from that grapefruit. Are you sure you're 19? Yeah. <laughs> you're making me proud. Where did you learn how to plate like this? Well, I'm pretty much self-taught. It's really sophisticated. A lot of layers of flavor going through there. This shows a tremendous amount of skill. You have a lot of talent. Thank you. I'm so proud of myself. The next cook took one of the most common items and elevated it far beyond our expectations. Please bring up your dish. Andy. I'm so pumped for them to tuck into this burger. It's a Thai burger with root vegetable tempura. You know, the presentation right out of the gate is eye-catching. That's part of the intention when we ask you to elevate. The seasoning, I think, is wonderful. It's an interesting and risky thing to change, I think, because a burger is such an iconic diner dish. And someone who has their favorite diner would probably say, don't mess with yeah. my burger. <laughs> but I am delighted that you messed with this burger, because it is absolutely wonderful. Thank you. 
I love this Asian play on malt vinegar. Yeah. It sounds good, but does it taste good? I hope you like it. I'll find out. <laughs> I mean, that is fantastic. Eating this by itself was already good, but with that vinegar, wow, wow, wow. Thank you, Chef. To have Chef Alvin try my food and respond in simply mm-mm-mm, so pumped.